Clarence breaks the ice. It was almost Christmas, and the tracks had become very icy. Whoa! The fields and trees were covered in snow, and there was ice on the pond. But none of that was of any concern to Terence. Terence is a crawler tractor with caterpillar tracks instead of wheels. He was working with the woodsmen. They were cutting down trees to take to Tidmouth for the Christmas market. Hi, Terence. Hello, Thomas. Are these all my trees? We're just collecting a few more. Won't be long now. I see you're wearing your snowplow. Well, it's very snowy out here. <laughs> Not that you've ever been bothered by snow and ice. Your caterpillar tracks are proving as useful as ever. Oh, now they're useful, eh? You didn't seem to think so when we first met, remember? Hello, I'm Terence. I'm plowing. I'm Thomas. I'm pulling a train. Oh, what ugly wheels you've got. <laughs> Not wheels. They're caterpillar tracks. I can go anywhere. I don't need rails. See? It's easy when you have caterpillar tracks. I don't want to go anywhere. I like my rails. I didn't realize your wheels were useful then. And as I recall, you also didn't realize your snowplow was useful then either. I don't like this nasty weather, Annie. Neither do I, Clarabelle. Uh, uh, Thomas, maybe you should go back for your snowplow. Just to be safe. I don't need that heavy and comfortable plow. Snow is silly soft stuff. They won't stop me. Cinders and ashes! I'm stuck! Oh, I'll have to stay here till I'm frozen solid. Oh, what a silly engine I am. But it was lucky snow never bothered me, and I was able to come to your rescue, Thomas. I have to admit, your caterpillar tracks are splendid, and I'll never call them ugly again. And I hope you'll wear your snowplow in future. Remember, you have to be sensible if, if you, you want, want to, to stay, stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that day, I've always worn my snowplow in bad weather. That's the rest of the trees for Tidmouth, Thomas. Very nice, Thomas. Um, perfect for the Christmas market. Uh, but, um, oh, uh, where's the big tree for Ulstead Castle? Um, what big tree, sir? D didn't I ask you to bring back a really huge tree for the Earl's Christmas Fair? Uh, you never said anything about that, sir. Oh, no! I must have forgotten to mention it! Oh, the Earl loves to have an enormous Christmas tree that he can decorate with tinsel and lights and... Don't worry, sir. 